hello you guys welcome back to my channel my name is china if you are new and if you're not thank you so much for coming back okay so um y'all know we are grown woman channel over here and um i wanted to i figured sipping some wine and basically doing a video um of on my way to my d appointment <laughs> um so yeah, I just figured I might as well do like a video of um, me just, you know, us about to go over our guy friend or whomever boyfriend's house and right before we go, what would I do? <laughs> so yeah, um, I have a bottle of wine right here. Um, this is the Menage Trois uh, Merlot and um this have 13.8 percent alcohol um so yeah i just going to go ahead and pour me a glass um i haven't started drinking yet because i was like i might as well pour one while i'm talking to you guys because why not <laughs> it's the weekend why not <laughs> Yeah, but it smells so good in this room, y'all. First of all, I have a candle burning from Bath and Body Works. And then um, I have a new perfume that I just put on today. I just got it today and it smells absolutely amazing. So if you guys watch my vlog, you've pro you already seen the perfume, but it's from Joe Malone. So make sure you guys check my last vlog out. And this is just what's left. Um, I have another bottle of a different kind of wine downstairs. So if I have to open it up, um, if I have to open it up, which I know that I will, I will be opening it up. Okay. But I'll just drink to this. So cheers to you guys. <laughs> okay. So let's just get started. So if I'm on my way to my D appointment, the first thing that I would do is I will use my magic powder um, and this is what I shave with. Sometimes I use mini racers. I say mini racers, men shavers, but I like to use this magic erase, uh, this magic powder and um, it says it helps stop razor bumps. Today I can't talk. Honestly, you guys, I've learned this when I used to be a dancer. I was working at, yeah, so I was working at Blades when I learned this. So. Yeah, I like to use this to shave the girly. Um, like I said, this and I use men um, shavers, men razors. So yeah, this is the first thing that I would do if I'm on my way to my D appointment. And then the next thing is this. So this is a um, coconut oil. You can use any kind of oil, but right after I shave, I like to make sure that I put some type of like oil, Vaseline, anything on it. Um, I, I also do use, but I ran out, but a skin tight um, is basically help stop razor bumps as well, but I ran out of it. But anyway, so um, yeah, I like to make sure that I put like an oil or a Vaseline or anything on top of it so it can be really smooth. And yeah, that's just what I do. And then the next thing, the next thing I do is, um, you know, after brushing my teeth, doing my skincare routine, then I hop in the shower so um so where was i mm, i don't know if y'all like bitter this is bitter it's not too bitter and it's not too sweet so i think you guys will really like that wine but anyway, um i wait a minute and i do like my skincare routine and brush my teeth and all of that jazz and then i hop in the shower and then I use with my two fingers, I use this. So this is the Honey Pot and it's sensitive foam and wash. Um, it's plant-based, it's a feminine, feminine care. And I just love this. Now I can say sometimes the top, like it's a pump, so it's gonna pump out, but sometimes like in the shower, the pump is so hard to pull it down. Um, I don't wanna do it right now, but the you just pump it out and I just use like my two fingers and pump it out 
and then I just wipe myself down there I do not stick my finger in there at all you don't stick your finger in there at all honestly you can wash your girly with water like you don't even need make sure if you wash your girly is always with unscented okay so this is unscented and it's for sensitive skin because I am my skin everything about me is really sensitive so I always make sure that I use like sensitive products um so yeah like I said, I use my two fingers on there, wipe it on there. I do not go inside my girly, never. I never go inside of my girly because you don't have to. Your girly actually cleans itself. So if you have a problem with like yeast infections, BV, all of that, it can be because of you stick your finger up there um, to wash or, um, you know, you have an intercourse and you let that person you know you already know what in you so that can also cause like smells and um you know smells and a bv yeast infection like if you have a problem with having a lot of those please y'all go ahead and and i also have some um peels if i don't forget then i will show you guys those as well but you could take like um you could take like uh pills to um ph balance pills basically so you know what let me go get them <laughs> i should have had all this stuff just lined up to wash my girly and I got this from Target, I believe, but they have it on Amazon. It's always um, out, to be honest, but this is really good. I, it don't cause me any problems. And I believe that it's black owned. I believe that it's black owned, so yeah. And then these are the um, probiotics. Uh, pills that I was saying so I actually take these I like the other brand better um than these but I also take these as well um I also take these as well so this basically helps you with uh your um pH balance to make sure that you know like you're always smelling good and fresh down there and um I love to take these type of things like every day um, they're good for your immune system, digestive system, vagina. Like, it's just good. And it's, uh, this one is vegetarian, and it's a raw probiotic supplement. So, um, yeah, I love to take these. I think you guys should try. I Like I said, I like the other brand better, but I ran out of them, so I've been taking these. But these are really good, like I said, for um, making sure your pH balance stays on track. So you want the smells and just all of those problems and stuff, you won't have them. Because we always love to make sure that our girly is clean and smelling good and fresh and we just, just smell like roses. But we all have, let's just be honest, everyone has some type of scent. It don't matter if it's a good scent or a bad scent or, you know, all of us, there's no one, I'm sorry, that just smells like water. Um, so don't feel like, you know, because of you don't smell like roses down there. Let's just be honest. Like it don't smell like roses down there. But we want to eliminate the foul smells and we want to smell as good and fresh as we can smell down there. So make sure you take your supplements and make sure you're not sticking no fingers period not even to wash up to do anything up there because your vagina cleanses itself i'm sorry that i stayed on this topic so long but i just felt like it's needed to say because sometimes we didn't learn and i actually went through my own um like downs with not knowing how to properly clean myself so i actually went through a lot and i learned a lot when I was a stripper, honestly, I've learned so much that I never knew about when I was younger. So, I just want to make sure that I am helping. And um, because I just want to make sure that I'm helping as much as I can. Because if I know something, why not share it with you guys? And you guys could probably share some stuff with me as well. So, yeah.
All right. So the next thing that I do, y'all know I absolutely I rave about this. I have a couple of things that I rave about, but when I tell you guys I rave about this and I will never in my life go back to rag. Exfoliate and mitten. When I tell y'all, please get it. When I tell you guys, like, I got to the point to where all rags are going in the trash because it's pointless. I will have, even when company comes over, I will have only exfoliated mittens and they can actually take it with them or they can put it in dirty clothes to get washed. But when I tell you guys, no rag for me. <laughs> I don't want to ever use a rag because you got to understand a rag is not going to properly like, you know, okay, so for instance, if you have an issue with you always, like, smelling down in your underarms, in between your legs, your bottom, anything. When I tell you guys, once you wash up with this, you won't smell. You know how you wash up with a rag and you still smell a little funky <laughs> under your arms? You'd be like, damn, I washed up. Or when your man is about to go down on you and you're not feeling so sure you're trying to stop him because you feel like, I don't know if I really cleaned myself good. That's what I'm talking about. So when you use the exfoliating mitt and when I tell you guys, when I tell you, when you use this, it's no more of the smelling like, it's just no more. Like, you get what I mean? So I love to use the exfoliate and mitten when I wash up. I use two. So I use one on both hands. That way when I put the stuff on there, I rub them together and I just wash up and it's quicker and it's better. And it just it just washes me the right way when I tell you. Like I be so fresh and happy and I feel so good. So please y'all make sure y'all know I rave about exfoliate and mitten. I'm going to keep this on because I got to show y'all the products and everything that I use. <laughs> So, yeah, get it. And I think it's only like 99 cents. When I tell y'all, no more rags for my household, period. I wanted to get all of the same color or I wanted to get like, okay, purples for me, blues for Chase, um, just certain colors so everybody can keep up with their stuff. You know what I mean? So, yeah, but exfoliate. Well, the next thing that I do is I wash up with this. I raved about this before as well because honestly with this you guys could clean anything with it today I cleaned my hair with this actually I washed my hair with this because it's a peppermint scent and I wash my hair they have all kinds of scents I'm pretty sure you guys have seen this before this is something that I would never not use these are two or something that I would never not buy um I like to use the baby one as well on, on my girly down there but I ran out of it but yeah, this is the Dr. Bronner's um, Peppermint Soap. So I love this so much, you guys. When I tell you this make you feel, even if you don't use this, which you, please use it. But even if you don't use this, you use this. This will make you feel, and I learned this in a strip club as well. This will make you feel so clean to the point to where like you're squeaky clean. You're just like you're a dry type of clean. That's how you know that you're clean. Like you just feel like this did not. <sighs> you will feel amazing when I tell you. And I just love it so much. Like this is just something I wash my makeup brushes with this. When I tell you guys when I wash my makeup brushes. All the makeup is off of my brushes and they're clean. They're easy to clean when I use this. When I use anything else, it takes forever to get them clean and still be makeup on them. No, when I use this, there's no makeup residue or anything on them. So please, you guys, get this. But like I said, on my body, I like to clean everything, especially your bottom. With this and this on your bottom, baby. That peppermint feel, you just gonna feel so clean. And um, like I said, don't use this on your vagina. Please don't use this on your vagina. I tried it when I used to be a dancer. I tried it on my JJ and baby, it was burning me. I was like, oh no. So, and I went up in there. Oh no, don't use it on your JJ. Only thing you need on your JJ is unscented soap or water and 
your fingers. You don't even use this on there because like I said, it cleans itself. The next thing that I use, and you know what? I also have a, um, but I'll, anyway, I'll, I'll talk about that on another video. The next thing that I use is this by Olay. I used to be a Dove girl. Everything that I had was like Dove, to be honest. So I used to be a Dove girl. And when I tell you, I love Olay much better. Um, this one is the Cleansing and Nourishing. And it has the Hyaluronic Acid Body Wash. And I'm just telling you guys, please. Like, um, my other one, it has like... Um, what is it called it has retinol in it like it has stuff that we basically need on our body and i first tried this when i went to um texas with all of the ladies and one of the ladies had a big thing of this um and i end up using which i always bring my own products but she had a big thing of this and i was like i want to try it out so i tried it out when i washed up and when i tell y'all I was like, I'm not buying Dove no more. Um, I still love Dove, to be honest. But this was just the the fact that it had the hyaluronic acid and just certain stuff that we need. Um, I just liked that better. So I told myself I won't buy the Dove anymore. Even though I love Dove still. But I honestly like this better. The Olay better, to be honest. So... Yeah, this is the next thing that I do on my exfoliating mitten. And sometimes if I'm in a rush, sometimes if I'm in a rush, I'll mix these two together on my mitten. So I'll pour like two pumps of this and then I'll pour some of this on my mitten and I'll just wash up. Because if I'm in a rush, I'll do that. That's uh, bringing down the time of me in the shower and all that. Okay, and the last thing that I use on is this. And this is from Bath & Body Works. It's the White Citrus um, Shea and Vitamin E Shower Gel from Bath & Body Works. This stuff smells so good. I just use this for the smell because I just feel like, you know, I'm going to go get me some D. <laughs> That's so funny to just say that. I'm sorry. Um, they just keep being so loud. <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. Like, it'd be, uh, it be so hard for me to record because the kids just be like, bump that. And then someone is cutting the grass next door. Someone is cutting the grass next door. So it's just like every single time that I get ready to record like a sit down video, it never goes as planned. <laughs> But like I was saying, I got this from Bath and Body Works and this smells so good. I use, I use the shower gel just for the smell because I just want to make sure that I am smelling yummy and tasty and just all of that before I go out of the house. Um, so yeah, I like to put this on. Um, I put it on my exfoliating mitten or sometimes I'll take it off and put it on my hands because this don't have to be you know <laughs> i already cleanse myself with the stuff that i really need now this is something so i'll put this on my hand or that and then i'll rub it all over me rinse this off um this is just a must um especially on let's just get to the point especially if your mate or your friend or whoever is going to go down there <laughs> Um, I don't put on my lady parts. You guys already know that. But I like to make sure that I put it in between my thighs. Um, that part. And make sure on my bottom. Because you want your bottom to. You don't want your bottom smelling like you already know. You don't want your bottom smelling. Period. So uh, I feel like the bottom and the underarm is the hardest part to get clean. So, um, you want to make sure that, you know, you're putting the smell good down there because this can handle it. The, the girly can't. So I like to make sure that I put this down there because when I go down there, this is what he's going to be smelling. <laughs> this is so funny. This is so funny, but y'all know that we're having a grown woman. This is a grown woman channel, okay? Um, I'm 32. I'll be 33. 
but we're grown around here. So, this is this. Um, and this is a exfoliating body polish. And this one is the Crushed Almond and Mango Butter by Dove. And I love to exfoliate, you guys. Like, when I tell y'all, this is how much I got left. And it smells amazing. Oh, my God. And this is by Dove. I love to exfoliate because I just feel like, even though that's exfoliating mitten, I just feel, and I exfoliate, like, twice a week. Because, you know, after you shaved your body, like, so after you shave and you exfoliate, when I tell you, you so soft, you're extremely soft. And I just love to be soft and just moisturize and just smell good. So on top of all this scented stuff, I'm going to use another scented. So, um, yeah, I make sure that I exfoliate because I don't want to be all feeling crusted and, you know, while I'm laying next to him or whatever, <laughs> him or her, whatever. Um, now, let me just be honest because I have to be. I don't know if you've ever looked at someone and can tell like they do not exfoliate. And I absolutely hate that. I don't want someone to look at me and be like, oh my gosh, she like she stank. Or she look like she just don't exfoliate. Or she don't know how to take care of herself properly. Especially at the age that we are at right now. So, I make sure that I exfoliate all around. Because I want my colors. I understand we all deal with hyperpigmentation. Because I actually deal with it as well. A little bit. So, I feel like exfoliating will actually help that. Sometimes we can't help it. Let's just be honest. We can't help that some spots are darker than the other ones because that's just life. You know what I mean? But to to decrease that, that's why we exfoliate. So that's why I use, I don't like to look dirty or, you know, like for instance, for instance, you know how a person's neck is just so dirty. It look like they don't wash their face. It look like they don't, we don't want to look like that ladies because we don't want the man um, we don't want the man kissing on our necks and, you know, whatever, and our necks are dark or it don't smell good. We don't want that. And also as well, we use Q-tips. I use a Q-tip every other day and, um, I use alcohol in a pad to wipe my ear in the inside and outside so make sure you guys do that as well because we don't want them kissing out on us and they're tasting earwax or they're tasting sweat we just don't want it okay ladies and men so um the next thing that i use after my body uh my body scrub is this you guys i love this so much now this is another thing that i'm not going to ever stop buying <laughs> This is my first product from Lush. I've never had anything from them before. But when I tell you guys, this is a body conditioner. Oh my God. I don't think y'all understand. This smells amazing. And I can't necessarily say that it, I can't say this. I can't say that this has my body moisturized afterwards because I don't think that it do to be honest but the smell is so amazing that i just use it anyway like this is a different type of smell oh my god i love this smell when i tell you guys i would never ever not i would never stop buying this this exact smell and everything and i think this for this jar it was like 35 dollars or something like this from lush but this smells amazing um, now, let me just be honest. I don't use all of this stuff every day. Sometimes I'll use like one of the washes I'll use. Like for instance, I might use just this in the shower on my body and that's it. I won't do all of this extra stuff. But this is a video for when we're on our way to the D appointment, okay? So that's why I'm showing y'all because I do all these extra steps because I want, when I'm in the sheets with someone or they're going down or whatever, 
I want them to be like, oh my gosh, she smells like candy. She smells amazing. Every time she just, she just smells amazing. She looks amazing already. You know how you can look at a person, you be like, oh my gosh, she looks like she smells so good. That's how we want to be. We want to look and smell amazing at all times. So body conditioner, when I tell y'all, and what I do is usually I'll turn off the shower and then I'll grab some in my hand and I'll do it all over my body. And then I'll turn the shower back on and then I'll rinse it off and then I'll hop out of the shower. Now, after I hop out of the shower, I spray my body instantly with this. And this is the Cucumber Melon from Bath & Body Works Fine Fragrance Mist. I love a mist. I have to use a mist, especially in the bed. When I'm going to bed, I don't spray perfume to go to bed because I feel like it's pointless. But I do spray a body mist because I just love just, you know, you just smelling amazing. And I just love it. And I already washed up. I've already washed up with this with it and came so i just like to make sure i i mean i know this is probably like a lot of steps and i know y'all probably like but i love it i can't say a body mist don't last for a long time it don't but you know when you just getting out of the shower just imagine he's over your house and you just getting out of the shower and you spray this on your body he gonna go oh my god you smell good so yeah i make sure that i spray my body all over with this the next thing and this is new as well um so the next thing is this this is the brazilian bum bum cream i'm late to this to be honest um i used to see people talk about this all the time but i told you i'm not really a person that likes to get what everybody has and i'm just be honest but i like to lotion myself down with this I love to lotion myself down with this. So especially my feet, I have to lotion my feet. Um, so yeah, I love to use this Brazilian Bum Bum Cream for my body. I feel like this step is kind of important as well. I've never seen anybody say something like this, but um, I use this and this matches with the spray and all that, but this is a Cucumber Melon from Bath & Body Works 24 Hour Moisture Body Lotion. Now, I use this, but only on certain parts. So I'll take this and I'll put it in my hand and I'll put it in between my thighs and my stomach. Cause honestly, I have like a saggy stomach. Let's just be honest. Um, so I'll put it under my stomach, like, you know, and I make sure that I put it on my butt. So in between my butt, because just imagine after you didn't clean it so good and then you put some of this under there there i feel like it just makes it smell a lot better i don't put a lot but i just make sure i put it in between my cheeks and my thighs because especially if he's going down there like i said we want to make sure that he's just smelling everything but you know he just want to smell he you want to smell good <laughs> Um, he don't want to smell no foul smells or nothing like that. And I just feel like this is because, you know, when we're having the D or whatever, sometimes we get sweaty. So just imagine you getting sweaty, you're going to smell like this. So I just like to make sure that I put some. I just like to make sure that I put some, and this just smells good, put some in between my thighs and in between my booty and on my butt. And I put it right here. This is, I'm so serious, I do. I put it right here and right here because just imagine him coming up, kissing on your neck. He's going to smell it from right here or him coming up on the chest. If I put it right here, he's going to smell it from him right here. So those are the areas when I know that I'm about to get or go to my D appointment that I make sure that I put it on. <laughs> okay, so these are the last two things um, I put on spray deodorant. So, you know, we want to make sure that we are fresh. This one is the cool, no wait, it just says uh, dry spray, go fresh. Um, I don't know. I just love this so much when I tell y'all because I told y'all I had a problem with 
in between my thighs because they kind of rub. So honestly, I spray in between my thighs. But if I'm going to the D appointment, I don't spray in between my thighs because this will stop you from... Y'all know what I'm trying to say. I don't want to say too much. But, you know, I just spray, spray underarms. And um, when I'm not going to my D appointment, I always do one spray, one spray each thigh because... I have, I tend to kind of sweat. If I don't make sure I'm all the way dry, sometimes I'll lay in my bed nude and turn the fan on so I can make sure I'm completely dry. Um, But yeah, Dove spray, deodorant spray. So yes, I make sure that I put on some deodorant spray because I just want to be looking good, smelling good. And then I get dressed up. Um... And I already have me an overnight bag with some of this stuff in it. I have a bag already made, y'all already know. Um, so yeah, and then after I get dressed, I like to look sexy. I like to either put on some really nice pajamas, like loungewear type of thing, or if I'm actually going over to his house, but I always make sure. So, um, So um, if he's at my house, then I always make sure that I put on something sexy. So I'll put on something like this. Um, this is just a uh, silk. Is this silk? This is just a silk, um, just a pajama um, thing. This is what I like to go to bed in because I just want to feel sexy and look sexy. So this is something that I will put on to get in the bed but if i'm going to his house i'll put on something like what i have on right now i have on this cheetah dress so i'll just put i'll just put this on and the last but not least y'all know my favorite y'all already absolutely know y'all should already know what i'm going to say but i make sure i put on some perfume so i grabbed this one this is one of my favorite perfumes and i grabbed this one because this is a night scent and usually when we're going to go to our d appointment is usually at nighttime but i don't know it can be during the day through the day i don't know but um this is uh passion de lamar and this is house of siage y'all know i absolutely love this perfume so much so just imagine you did all of that to smell good and then you just grab your perfume and put your perfume on so yeah y'all know at nighttime i put on a nighttime scent i love this perfume i love this perfume so much so yeah this is the last thing that i do sorry if y'all hear the kids okay well the kids are getting rowdy up once again so thank you guys so much for watching my video let me know if you guys do how you guys do going on to your appointment and I don't know i appreciate you guys i love you guys so much um i'm trying to get to 20k subscribers so if you guys can help me that would be amazing and make sure you guys give this video a thumbs up i love you guys so much china dows and gents and i will see you guys in my next you've been lying saying that i took away your peace, peace. drowning by yourself now you want to blame me like you have no options I ain't take your options Now I'm not the problem Man, that's on you, yeah